on your PC and so that we will be able to be on the same thing. Uh, if you check our previous video on Himas, uh, it's also Vim is also a test editor and there's a post, there's a blog post above Vim already on our website. So this will help you to understand uh, the Vim editor very well. You can really go through that post. Uh, for me, Vim is kind of simpler than Emas command. It's kind of simpler and it's easy to navigate the Emas command. So without taking much of your time, let's go to Vim command. Uh, so uh, for Vim, you'll have, have uh, for me, I have a file already which I'll be using. I've created a test file already for Vim. So let's go to Vim design. So he's asking me for the creation key which I've inserted. Uh, this file is corrupted already. So let's just delete. So let's open another file. That file is Okay, so now these are uh, these are actual five of them which are created long ago. So uh let's get started. To get started to edit a particular test editor, you must press I, which is I for insert. It is quite simple, very simple. It's on this page. I for insert. So insert your cursor at the position where you like your uh, you like to start editing. So you press I then start working this is somewhere. So you can go to the next line and start typing. So, having done that, you can decide to what you are true and press escape. As you can see, the insert key below is no more there. Yes, you can press it again. It's there. Start editing. You press escape key. You'll not be able to edit it as you can hear sounds coming up. So uh so hey for example after pressing escape escape key if you press A it's is actually inserts your cursor to the portion where you like to start editing. So it's after pressing escape zero Zero create a new line below the console hand and enter insert mode automatically. So uh, let's press escape and then go. So it goes to the next line. So it assumes that you are long interested in that line and it goes to the next line and then you start editing from there. And another another key which you now we've talked about escape with SCT insert mode so uh each move the cursor to the left let's try that yeah first you must go let's you must first you must SCT you must uh I insert mode rather then let's press each as you can see it's going to the left so beautiful 
now let's go to j it takes the cursor down j as you can see it takes the cursor down uh those are the things that you can do with your uh 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 cursor uh you call uh you cursor keys on your laptop so uh also k in the cursor up let's do that but don't forget is on we are on we have exited the insert with k pressing k in the cursor up uh ah uh, l pressing l move the cursor to the right together so uh Sorry about that. Uh, DT is the current line. Let's try that. As you can see, double D. D is the current line. So let's try and see if there's anything I can do. So let's press P and see if it will paste P. Yeah, P has pasted what is like undoing what we just did with DD. Uh, so why we copy the current line? Let's try that. So it has copied the current line. So let's press let's see if we can paste it so as you can see just by like just pressing the it's been pasted so um so uh search forward for a string that's uh um That's for slash slash underscore strange. Let's try that. Uh, for slash slash underscore string. Slash. Oh, let's try. I think there's only T in that place. Let's say the cat is too good. Yeah. Okay, let's go to escape. Let's see. Uh, Search pattern now. See, something you can try. I don't know why. Let's see. That is not working out. So let's go to um to save the current file. Save the current file. Enter es escape. Double colon. W. Enter. So it's saved already. Can see and also if you are saving the current now, you are saving the current file and SD. Let's try that. See, so that's it. So, and uh, that's that evolving. It's quite simple. 
to understand and simpler than humans. Once again, I'm somewhere from it to give you a 